The glottal stop is a tension that occurs um, back here. And so we know when it's there because of the effect on other sounds. So other sounds will sound choked or shortened. Um, and uh, I'll give you an example. So if I were gonna say um, can't, um, I used a nice mm and a, a, a exploding t uh, that was aspirated. If I were to make it a glottal stop, the tension of that final consonant is actually going to affect the n before it. Can't, can't, can't. And so the n gets sort of choked off. So when you're looking for um, glottal replacement as an idiosyncratic um, phonological process, you're going to decide if you hear a consonant change into a uh, glottal stop. So, and you're going to listen to how it blends into either a vowel or a syllabic consonant. Um, so if I were to say apple, apple, you can hear the p going into the syllabic consonant, apple. But if I said apple, apple, you don't hear the p going into the syllabic, apple. Um, and so that's uh, glottal replacement. Um, I'll say a few words and I'll say them two ways. Cake. K. Feet. Feet. Pizza. Pizza. Lip. Ip. 